This program is brought to you in part by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. Come by. Okay, March is Pharmacy Awareness Month. Please welcome Medicine Shop Pharmacist Trina Sutherland. She's right here. Uh, it's important to make your pharmacist part of your daily routine. I know I, I love my pharmacist, and that's because she understands what I'm doing, and she gives me my flu shots and all that kind of stuff. It, why, why do you want to get that message out to people? Well, pharmacists are definitely one of the most accessible healthcare professionals. Yeah. So you can get a, you can find us easy. We're there. We should be part of your team uh, yeah. for your health care, just like your doctor or your dentist. Right. We're medication management experts, so we can help identify barriers to your health with regards to your medications and try to help make sure that things go smoothly for you. You know when you go to the pharmacist, you go to the pickup side, and they go, okay, do you, have you ever taken this medicine before? You go, no. And they go, let me explain what this is all about. And, and I think, you know, I want to know because if you if you don't have a, if I get a conversation with the pharmacist, I'll listen to it more than I'll read what's on that sheet. Am I right with that? Because you don't read it, do you? No, you don't. Okay, so let's talk about some things. We got we got some paddles, true or false. You ready to play that? Okay, let's go and do that. Okay, so here we go. True or false game about all the different services that pharmacists offer. Okay, number one. A pharmacist can administer a flu shot. Well, I just told you that. <laughs> I? Okay, that's absolutely true, but I bet you somebody out there didn't know that. <laughs> I blew it. Sorry, guys. That's all right. No, definitely pharmacists can administer a flu shot. It's best to come around October, November to start that. Um, it's easy. You can walk right in. Yeah. A lot of pharmacies do it just as a walk-in service. Yeah. Don't need to make an appointment. So that's it's just exactly what I did. Nice and slick. That's what I did. Okay, number two, pharmacists can renew your prescriptions. True or false? False. Ooh. Actually, this is true. Oh, because you thought true. that you thought your the doctor you had to call your doctor to get it yeah. done. Yeah. So no, my trainer. actually, recently in the last couple of years, pharmacists have taken on more responsibilities and have been able to start renewing prescriptions. In some cases, some provinces, we can actually prescribe medications. So I'm from New Brunswick, so um, fortunately for us there, we can prescribe for things like cold sores, um, urinary tract infections, like a bladder infection. Mm -hmm. So it's really convenient and mm -hmm. a nice service that we have. Let's give a big round of applause to New Brunswick. <laughs> Well, you, you got the first one right because I gave you the answer. The second one, you completely blew, okay? Okay, here's question three. A pharmacist can administer medication. Administer medication, true or false? Administer, true or false? Ooh. I don't think they were listening. I don't know. They're having a hard time. They're having a hard time today. <laughs> Most of you said... This, mm -mm. this answer, yeah, you guys mostly said false. The answer is actually True. true. Yes. <laughs> Pharmacists can indeed administer medication. Uh, we can administer things like insulin. Uh, we can teach you how to use your insulin. We can teach you how to use an inhaler or a puffer, all kinds of things like that. Very good. I know my son had asthma, and I would kept, kept going back to the pharmacist and say, show him again because he's not listening to his mother, okay? <laughs> and tell him he's got to keep it with him all the time. Okay. When planning a trip, you need to visit a travel clinic. A pharmacist cannot advise about vaccinations and travel medicine. True or or false? false. Okay. Finally. Okay. <laughs> that's right. Turn that around. That's awesome. So that's interesting because we would think that we'd have to go to a specialized doctor mm -hmm. or a GP. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit more about that, Trina. Well, you know, when you go on a vacation or you travel, it, coming to your pharmacy is a must. We are really great at uh, helping you decide what travel vaccinations you might need. Yeah. Uh, we can help you make sure you've got enough medication to last you throughout your trip. Uh, and we can even help you figure out if you're going to a different time zone, yeah. how to adjust your regimen of your medications to make sure that you are taking them properly in a new time zone. There's nothing wrong with going up and saying, look, I'm going to go to this country. What do I need to know? And you guys all know that, right? So that's so good to know. You'll, you'll feel well equipped and you'll have your little medicine bag just in case, that's right? That's right. Okay. <laughs> if you need help quitting smoking, you have to visit your doctor first, true or false? They're getting better. You changed your mind at the last minute. <laughs> but that's, let's talk about that, all right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, definitely, when you go to quit smoking, uh, one of your best resources is your pharmacist. Uh, we can 
can uh, definitely help you with that. We can provide you information. We can offer coaching sessions. Yeah, that's great. We can even prescribe medications to help you quit. Yeah. So it's really great. And again, like we're so accessible. So it makes it so easy to come in and do that. Yeah. And sm quitting smoking is so tough. So, uh, yeah, so tough yeah, to yeah. do. So, so any resource you can use yeah. is, is really helpful with regards to the pharmacy. What is the most asked question of a pharmacist? What's the best ask? What's the most asked? Oh, most asked. Well, you know, it's funny that this, this show has been a lot about poo. We get asked a lot about poo. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, yep. it, everything seems to come back to that. So, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I leave you with that. Thanks, Katrina. Good one. For more information, go to Maryland.ca. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Yeah.